Zero Mile is a Terminus Media production. If you would like to know more about Terminus Media, please head on over to terminusmedia.com. Now, on with your show. Hi, welcome to Zero Mile, your final stop in Atlanta's geek culture. I'm your host, Kelly McDaniel, and these are my co-hosts. Zonga Fielding. I'm Matthew Malis. I'm subbing in for Chris Cowan this week. And I have a lot of stuff to talk about for TV including the new Samurai Jack. So let's go ahead and get started. What rolled into the station this week for TV, guys? Of course, um, this news, not sure if it's good or bad. It depends on your taste. Um, Riverdale is renewed for a second season. I never Any. saw this coming, actually. So yeah. um, I guess because... <laughs> Literally color supply. Surprised. <laughs> Supplies? Supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so from my experience with the show, it's not my cup of tea. I can see how other people can like it with the teen drama featuring Archie. Lot, lots of people who like teen dramas love this show. Or, or like the darker nature of it. it yeah. is, it is, it's got a cool mystery vibe to it, I will say. I go. disagree. Like 100% yeah, like with the mystery it's... vibe. You don't tell your mysteries through narration oh. of another character. You their execution is not good. There is yeah. some cool, like, Twin Peaks stuff going on, though, which I do enjoy. It's just some of their execution has been less than stellar, and I will agree with you with that. Yeah. Um, like, you don't tell your mystery through narration. You tell it through the characters yeah. discovering yeah. stuff. All right, well, let's not get on a tangent about how much we, we're not particularly fond of We are. No. Yeah. But, but get renewed, it's news. So, yeah. Yay. <laughs> So, um, not really. Uh, and in sort of uplifting news, something we can really uh, sink our teeth into, The yeah. Flash, latest episode yeah. of Flash, had some really interesting developments. Um, Savitar is back. The big bad speedster, yet another one, mm -hmm. has come out uh, from his exile in the Speed Force, and now Barry Allen has to deal with it. But unfortunately, his the Savitar's sort of freedom has come at the cost of Wally West, where Wally seemed to have been controlled and or under the influence of Savitar and got it in his head that he had to get fast enough so he could beat him, and that just ended up allowing him to escape. And that has led to the idea of who Savitar is. Um, that's been kind of the big mystery because he's this big metal guy in a suit, no. and we just don't know who he really is, but he has a lot of knowledge about Barry Allen and his team. Yeah. And so... I'm on the current bandwagon that Wally West is Savitar. He's a future version of okay. Wally West. and But there is some other rumors coming around that it may be someone else. Maybe I think it's Eddie Thawne. I think it's the guy who killed himself in season one. Spoilers. Ooh. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, so I think it may be him. And I'm interested to see where it goes. That is interesting. I, I mean, I always like The Flash because I always feel like in terms of comic book TV a lot of times they kind of will water down certain storylines from the comics just because they feel like your casual viewer who isn't very like in-depth with mm -hmm. the comic books is going to know, which is a fallback that I feel like happened with Green Arrow um, and then I definitely happened with Smallville. So the fact that like Flash has always just gone there yeah. They never, re like, they do water things down, they do twist things around, but they just, they go there. They never really hide behind, the like, they don't pretend that their audience is dumb. And so they create these complex storylines, which is really fantastic. Yeah, and, and, and actually, I would almost, I'd counter, you're absolutely correct in that, but I also would say, I think they've gone a little off the rail on certain aspects, like the oh, time yeah. travel stuff yeah. is going on. But, I mean, to tell you how wacky and how out there they are, I mean, they just yeah. got done with a two-parter about a giant monkey, gorilla. Yeah. telepathic monkey. Uh, and so, gorilla. Yeah, they gorilla. actually Sorry. went there and actually gave us Gorilla Grodd, yes. which you can't, like, oh and my multiple God. multiple times over yes. multiple seasons. And <laughs> yes. so it's it's a good show. It's a great show. Um, but they are, in this, Savitar stuff is interesting, but I am very eager to just get on with it. Yeah. Um, it's too, it's as a, to do coin a lost term, mysteritating. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're, dra they're dragging it yeah. yeah i mean and this is a pitfall of all cw shows because at the end of the day their main target audience are teenagers mm -hmm. um you know this happened i know people forget but this happened with buffy and angel and happened even back in earlier seasons of uh supernatural it's just the way it works yep 
Um, but I look forward to it, and, and we'll see how it all unwraps. I'm sure there will be an off the rails or something at some point about Flash and what's going on with it. Yeah, and speaking of things that are, to me, I feel like it, they're going too fast, um, Game of Thrones Season 7 has been announced. Um, it will start on July 16th. It is a little pushed back, um, and it's going to be a lot shorter, consisting of seven episodes. Only seven? Only seven. Yep. Um, they're splitting basically a full season up into two half seasons, uh, season seven and season eight, to wrap up the entire series as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, and because winter is here, summer is even shorter. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> It's, nice. uh, yeah, uh, so it's, it's very, to me, it's a little heartbreaking because now it's going to be like super short and they're going to, as they did last season, which was also a little bit shorter, cram a lot of things in. Sure, the episodes might be longer, but we're not going to have as much. But I, I'm going to get, I think we're going to get much more bang for our buck because uh, with sort of season means more money per episode. Yes. We spend on the FX. We're going to see bigger fights. We're going to see dragons. We're going to see magic. We're going to see everything just go off the rails, yeah. as it were. And it's going to be a cool time. And I am I look forward to, to riding out the, the third act of this play. Oh, well. yeah. No, it, this is, I feel like this is even, this is like a four-act play, and now we are on the fourth. Yeah. The fourth act. We are on the final big battle Mm. Um, and of course, in true Game of Thrones fashion, nothing was really revealed. Uh, they used old clippings, old clips, audio clips on top of crumbling um, statues of the house signals mm -hmm. that are still there, and they were crumbling, being like frozen. Yeah, frozen. Like and so then... it was almost like frozen and then crumbling, uh, which I think is to show the fact that while they're still fighting it out and trying to get mm -hmm. that game, you know, trying to get that throne of iron, they are also going to be dealing with the Ice Walkers and the Ice King yep. and this threat. And, and they specifically crumbled into the shape of that the White Walkers use. Exactly. And in the showcase that all your all your politics, all your machinations, all your families don't matter when it comes compared to the endless winter exactly. that is them. And that just makes it that much more chilly. Yeah. So I feel like <laughs> this season they're probably going to like wrap Nothing. it up. Ha -ha. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Uh, um, they're probably going to wrap it up in terms of fighting and then the season eight will probably definitely be fighting the White Walkers. Um, but I, I, I'm just like, ah. Yeah. It's going to be great. Trust me, <laughs> we're going to be talking a lot about Game of Thrones. This is just the beginning of it. Yeah. Uh, especially as more comes along and we find more official news because I know that there are spoilers galore and set photos that shouldn't have been taken that have been taken all over Reddit and the internet, um, but we won't really be discussing that because that might be, that's too far speculative. Ugh. What? Speculative. <laughs> uh, uh, speculative. Yes. There we go. Right. Yay. And, um, speculative. Yay. The word of the day. Um, and, you know, just, it also can be a, a little spoilery. And we, mm. we don't want to kind of go into all and, that. And so anytime we get official news from Game of Thrones, we will try our best to talk about uh, it. Absolutely. And, and, and so don't ruin yourself. Don't, don't, don't eat your uh, pudding before your meat, as exactly. they say. Just, just wait for us, wait for us, and we'll all be able to see it. Exactly, because once this actually, like, I don't want to ruin this for myself. No, absolutely. So I really want to see what um, happens. But in less speculative news and a mm -hmm. little more concrete stuff, um, we got more stuff about American Gods. Yay! It's, uh, yeah, yes, it's coming out. Uh, if anyone knows, at the end of April, April thirtieth, we are going on to stars. get American Gods on Stars. You can also see it on Amazon Prime. If you've got Amazon Prime, well, if you've got the, Amazon well, Prime. you will see it on Amazon Prime with the Stars add-on. Yes. Yeah, uh, no, so, okay. but you can get Stars literally on Hulu and on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. It's about an extra seven dollars a month. Yeah. But I think it'll be worth it. This is Neil, one of Neil Gaiman's most interesting stories, in my opinion. I've read the whole book. It's very cool. And what we got is more, basically, direct photos from the show. We got, we've got we already seen Technical Boy, which is the guy with the young guy in the limo. Yep. But we also got to see Mr. Wednesday entertaining uh, Easter, which is another one of the gods he interacts yep. with. She looks lovely. And then we have Shadow dealing, like, being sort of harangled by these faceless men that are probably minions of Mr. Of Technical Boy or any of yeah. the other gods, mm -hmm. uh, the modern gods, as it yes. were. Um, 
like I said, I can't get enough of this stuff. I want to see more of it. The story is enchanting. It's very adult, very mature, and I'd expect this to be nothing less. But if yeah. they can harness that level of complexity mm-hmm. into the show, it's going to be kind of like my new like, Game of Thrones. It's just something I'll just devour without yeah. without relent, as it were. It's I'm I'm excited. I mean, it, it is a mini series. Yes, correct. Right. So There's only it, eight it episodes. It will it will end, and there will not be a, a se- you know extra seasons after that. Um, so obviously, get ready for it to end. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be really great. Um, I know that they premiered the episode last. Uh, well, premiered it on Saturday night. Uh, South by Southwest. Yes, it is. So, and I. I haven't seen a single bad review yet. Um, so this is, I'm excited. Also, Jillian Anderson is going to be in it, as yeah. always. And Ian McShane. He's, Ian McShane. Ian McShane. Yeah, he's my boy. <laughs> it's going to be great. I like it. I'm excited. All right. And I have. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, got a lot of Samurai Jack news. <laughs> so, about that Samurai Jack, though, let's talk about oh, it. Oh, all right. So, um, obviously, it also. It was on Adult Swim on Saturday night. Oh my God. Uh, spoilers. Spoilers. Spoilers be, spoilers. be warned. Um, if you haven't seen Samurai Jack, I suggest pausing the video right now. Go seeing it and coming right back yeah. at this point. Yes, because I most definitely, like, there's so much going on. Um, it's been 13 years since the last episode, um, back when it played on normal, you know, I, what was it? Toonami, I think, is mm-hmm. towards the end. It was on Toonami uh, for... Cartoon Network, and now it is back on Toonami 4, but on Adult Swim, so at night, and it definitely has matured with us um, within the last 13 years a lot. Yeah, um, um, it's kind of like Samurai uh, Jack got invaded by Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> a little, yeah. Um, yeah. It, basically, it is 50 years in the future. Um, Samurai Jack cannot age because um, of the time stream. Yep. So he's just sitting there um your first scene literally is him he's lost his sword and so he has this like spike and motorcycle and just starts kicking kicking butt so it's like oh my god you know so you just see a completely different jack Jack than what we grew up with and know and then it kind of brings it in through these flashes of what's happened um when he meets up with i'm going to Butcher this name, but it's a robot assassin uh, that used to be Aku's most favorite assassin, um, Sakramush. Yes. Sakramush. I got that right. Yeah. Yes. All right. But um, so basically, like, I wrote this whole thing down on the Sakramush uh, about, you know, they kind of go at it with words. Um, and it's really difficult for, you know, basically, Sakramush is just kind of like, you lost your sword. Yeah, this is I can totally be beat you. <laughs> and um, you know, the, the sword was the thing that made you powerful, not you. Well, the sword was originally in the series. Um, what was the only thing to kill right. a coup? Um, and mm-hmm. of course, that's why a coup put him in the future. Right. And all he wants to do is get back to the past. Past, and obviously, he's kind of lost the his way. That is a coup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, lost his way. Along the same time as this fight, we're also getting these flashbacks to the daughters of Aku, which are seven uh, female assassins that are kind of born really horrifically. Um, And they really didn't spare any details, you know, minus what they could actually put on TV. So that was Mm -hmm. kind of grim and shocking in a way. Um, But they show these 13 girls growing up being trained to kill Jack which is very similar to Jack being trained to kill a coup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's this very... Cycle of violence? Yeah, cycle of violence. And it's it's very reminiscent to me of, like, old school... It's still very, like, old school samurai movie, Japanese Mm -hmm. stuff. And kung fu movies. Kung fu movies. Like, it's just... Ah, like, oh my god. And there's so much, and... Oh, so you're forgetting the best part of the show of Jack. Going through his PTSD during in the middle of fights, or <laughs> well, when I he's mean, by himself, or he was doing all the time. They're they're <laughs> visions, they're visions. But this is totally PTSD at this point. Um. Yeah, of his family saying you forsaken us, and then being set on fire, and he's freaking out. Yeah, while they're on fire in front of him, but he's also fighting a villain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, no, I, it's or this, like, I like, I'm hungry, still really discombobulated so, with all of so this. So what you're saying is it's super intense. It's yeah. super intense. I mean, and then not to mention like, again, with one of the first scenes, like he has a gun. No, yeah, that's, that's what I was like. like <laughs> sword, of course. I know, but it's like, he has a, he has a gun. Like you would have never expected that 13 years ago. Oh, um, and I'm, I'm super, And they, they worked on this for eight years. Yeah, I'm super intrigued when he gets his sword back. Because he's going to get his sword back. I yeah. mean, we all know it. But I'm, I'm intrigued at that moment because that will probably be that moment of clarity of, mm-hmm. of purpose. And he'll exactly. go, I know what I need to do. I know how I need to go do it. And he'll find himself again. And he will continue on his quest. Oh, yeah. Well, totally. I mean, and just, you know, so everyone knows, this is a 10-episode uh, arc that will be cl- basically kind of giving us the answers we need since Samurai Jack just ended. Um, it was never actually canceled. Mm-hmm. Um, the showrunner actually walked away because he wanted to come back to it when he had a good story to end Samurai Jack's journey. So this is exactly that. And mm-hmm. I cannot wait. I'm so glad it's on Adult Swim where nothing can really be censored, you know, except for normal censor yeah. issues. Uh, FCC so, I mean, but... And, so. But it's it, it's it's good that we have an artist who's like you know what I'm not doing this just for the money I'm I'm here to say I have something to say yeah, yeah. I'm going to wait and be responsible with my material and my content exactly. and to give people the audience something that I think is truly worth their time exactly this is also being co-produced by William Street Productions yep. um, William Street is literally in on William Street. Across from Turner, uh, downtown Atlanta. Downtown Atlanta, and this is being done complete. Uh, not, I don't think it's completely done here because I think Phil Lamar, uh, voices Samurai Jack, is everywhere because mm-hmm. he voices everything. Uh, so, but it, most of the pr- production in terms of the drawing and everything that is actually here in Atlanta. So this is mm-hmm. also considered a local thing, especially because Adult Swim started here in Atlanta. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cartoon Network, Turner Network started here in Atlanta. So this is. You know, it, it hits close to home for us, I think, especially because this is such a yep. big thing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So I, I'm i excited. I will definitely give more episodes and maybe I will have better wording. Instead <laughs> of like right now going, oh my God, Samurai Jack has a gun. Ah. <laughs> uh, daughter, you know, daughters of a coup, which I think are really cool. No, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. So guys. So, it's pretty great. So where can we find you guys at? Well, I am on Instagram at kmcdaniel28 and Twitter at Girl Friday Cause. I am at uh, I'm on Twitter at BioImportance. And you can find me at Zonga Audio on Twitter. All right, and if you have any uh, TV news you want us to discuss, or you have you know just want to say hey, feel free to send us an email at zero mile at terminusmedia.com. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next Wednesday. Bye, guys. See you. Have a good week.